What's up, back to business family? Hey there. It's us again. Joy. Henry. Today, we're on our way to Watertown, Tennessee. You may not have heard of it, but have you ever wondered where all of the water you drink comes from? I wonder if like, it's actually a very famous part of Tennessee. Watertown. I like, haven't actually looked at it before. I doubt it, it's gonna seem so small, but you know, I didn't you look never into know. It at all. Maybe there was like other stuff we could have done there. That'd be interesting. Would watch us get there and be like, welcome to the most famous yeah, town in town. That'd be crazy. Like they're known for this giant waterfall they have. Could be. Or maybe it's just where all the water comes from, like I said. So, um, so we, yeah, go ahead, explain. We are on our way to a drive in movie theater that one of my friends, or one of our friends, recommended. So, oh, our friends, I got upgraded, huh? Yeah, you follow them now. Yeah, I guess. One of our friends recommended uh, to go watch Despicable Me. This is the fourth one, right? Four. Yeah, Despicable Me 4. Um, pretty excited because I've wanted to see the movie. I don't know if he's actually wanted to see the movie, but we're doing it, so. Yeah, I'd say I'd, I want to see the movie. I don't think it's been as relevant of a thought to me lately as it has for Joy, but in general. I'm a big fan of the franchise, and I'd be excited to see this one. Although, to be honest, I don't know if I ever saw Despicable Me 3. I'm just going to throw that out there. Was 3? I get the Despicable Me movies and the Minions movies mixed up. This is going to be a long intro, but that's fine. Attempting to uh -huh. This is important stuff. So anyway guys, we're gonna see Despicable Me 4. I'm probably gonna read Despicable Me 3 synopsis because I can't tell, but it looks like they're saying Balthazar Brat comes back. Nice. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like them. I don't know. I don't know if he is though. Okay. I mean, worst case, just watch the movie and then read it after the fact. I feel like they're not gonna make it that insanely relevant because they're probably assuming parents are gonna go with their kids and parents aren't gonna remember. I mean, just look at me, I don't. Wow, guys, look at that sky. I was like you on Here we are out in Watertown, guys. This is Watertown? No. <laughs> According to frickin' Joy. <laughs> you guys tell me, see any water? Not a drop. <laughs> Guys, we made a fool of ourselves from the start. We parked in a spot that I don't think was a spot. So we had to drive out of it. Here we are trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. Okay. Any ideas? <laughs> we have none. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> can you see? What are you pointing this thing at? What you're working on. It's a wide angle so I can see it all. I see, I see. Who's putting the blanket over here? I see. You think pretty boy over it? there has the pillow. Huh? You. Oh. You're pretty boy. I was gonna say, I was like, why are you calling some random man pretty? No, as you. You stole the pillow. Or singular pillow. <laughs> Just so many to pack, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got some popcorn. We're still waiting for the movie to start and we're still waiting to get our food, though. In general, are you recording? Yeah. In general, I would say financially, I think this is a worth it date night. However, I guess I'm gonna make the official call after we've eaten some of our food. But I feel like as far as actual meals, if you just get like the $10 food pass and then bring your own meal, you do a lot better because we spent like $25 on food. But we'll see. I guess more than that with the popcorn. If the food's actually good though, I don't think I'll be too mad about it. I can't imagine it will be, but I feel like 
Some of these places can surprise you. I mean, even if it's mediocre, like ten dollars a print, that's not like an insane price for anything. Oh gosh. Okay, sir. The amount of popcorn you're spilling. <laughs> I feel like it'd be so easy to hit a kid. I know, right? Okay guys, so a lot has gone wrong. We didn't have audio for the longest. It's like 15 minutes. We missed the first 15 minutes of the movie. There's a skunk somewhere. It's hot. <laughs> oh, I know here. <laughs> um, so yeah, all in all, interesting evening. I think as time goes on, it'll be more comfy, but it's definitely a little strange. Especially because we waited so long for the food. We've got to really reposition. Ooh, so let me change that up. Alright, guys. First movie just wrapped up, and lots of ups and downs, I would say. Honestly, ultimately, I think I enjoyed the experience and would do it again. Oh, gosh. What happened? They're leaving, but I guess the good part about this drive-in is that they play uh, two, two movies. So, it's like a 10th part next. I don't know if they're going to stay here. Are we planning to stay for any of it? No, I don't care. I mean, if we're leaving, let's, let's go. Okay. All right, guys. We are about to head home. I don't know, what do we want to say in this? Do we like actually want to talk about the experience? Uh, yeah, we might as well in just a minute or two. So guys, we got here. Nice little place. Got parked. We made ourselves look like fools, though. Yeah, we parked in, I guess, a spot that we shouldn't have parked in. But we figured it out very quickly. We also, I feel like, since we didn't... I've never been to Drive-In Movie, have you? Not, like, officially, but I think I've stopped by or something i don't know because i've seen it i don't know by. i've seen i guess yes but i don't really remember it i just remember a large screen and being in a car um okay well i've never been to one so i didn't have experience with the whole like radio on they were also like i feel like they were very intense when it came to her when i was doing anything yeah they were very intense about uh, lights. The car lights being on. There was like on. a security guy, I guess. That he was on his job, though. I will give him that. He like he the cared. second lights <laughs> came on, he was there. Um, but yeah, we didn't. At first, we didn't know how to have the radio on with the lights off. So we spent like, I get, Well, the thing is, it's embarrassing to say that we spent like 15, 20 minutes trying to figure it out. But really, it's because we were just gonna like put the radio on our phones so we spent more time downloading a radio app that did not work that ended up not working and then we just i have like three free trials i have to cancel now for <laughs> these freaking radio apps and then we eventually Ridiculous. just decided to risk, figure out the car yeah situation. risk turning the lights on and having the security guy come in well, we managed to figure it out yeah turns out it was actually really easy yeah you just kind of hit the button that goes in accessory mode and then boom radio I like my no car lights has the added issue of my like key detector doesn't work very well it's hard to know when you actually hit the button because it keeps on saying key not detected and all that yeah but all in all i thought it was i thought it was like a, a funny movie i don't know that i feel like if somebody asked me if they should watch it i would say maybe don't spend money on it but like you should watch it at some point i guess i would agree with that i think it seems like the kind of thing that would probably be more fun to watch if they're really flashing their lights. Yeah, that's crazy. It'd be more fun to watch just like on a like a family movie night type thing, super casual. Because yeah. I feel like there was a couple of good laughs, you know, heartwarming story and all that, but it really wasn't, you know. Yeah. Um, there was also, oh, the food. So as you guys saw earlier, we ended up waiting. I don't actually know how long. It was probably like... 25 30 minutes yeah it was for the food. quite long because we yeah. pretty much went over there and decided to get food when once we got here and it was came out once like, like once the, the movie, movie was, was starting, starting. Yeah. and we were definitely like 45 minutes early yeah. so probably like 30 minutes for the food i got like just a normal chicken tender basket and he got a burger and i feel like both were mediocre if not bad yeah uh the fries were bad the fries were bad i feel like they just came out cold i feel like they could have been good if they were like crisp and hot 
Yeah. But by the time we got them, they really were just kind of like Bad. crinkle cut fries that were stale. So. Yeah. Um, since we weren't originally, we were planning on just sitting in the two front seats and watching the movie, but a lot of people were in their trunks watching it. So I think we just. Oh, it was also very hot, and we couldn't turn on the car's AC. So we ended up going to the trunk. And I think that we just, since we didn't plan for it, we didn't have enough, like, blankets or pillows or anything to make it, like, the most comfortable experience. It was also just kind of hot. It is just, like, humid outside. I don't think it was too crazy once you got used to it. Yeah. But I think because there was so much shuffling around. But, yeah, all in all, funny experience. There was a skunk. There was also a skunk. That didn't really cause a problem, but... Yeah, we didn't... I feel like I didn't care about it too much, but it was just kind of funny that yeah. there was a skunk here. I was watching the movie. Yeah. It was a good one. Yeah. It's cousin the honey badger was in there. Yeah. Um, now we have Spoiler an hour. alert. Yeah. There's a honey badger. Now we have an hour to drive back home. Do you want me to drive? No, I'm fine. Oh. I don't actually care. Um, I mean, do you want to? You know what that means, guys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> um... Yeah, funny experience. I feel like I'd definitely come back, but I feel like now that I've been, I would know, you know, what I'd change. Yeah, I know the ins and outs now. Or, like, I feel like, honestly, probably I'd bring a lawn chair next time or just plan out how to actually be in the car ahead of time. Yeah. Either front seat or trunk. I think, really, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like the biggest thing is just figure out the lights and radio situation ahead of time because I feel like in the dark with someone trying to like get on you if you turn the lights on accidentally yeah. it's just way more stressful than if we were at home just like okay how do you actually turn all the lights off because you know with these modern cars they always have some sort of a light on yeah anyway or at the very least just brought one of those little portable fans or something to get some circulation portable fan and portable radio yeah that's true that could have fixed both of our problems yeah but Either way, it was fun. I would do it again. Um, yeah, with a few a few adjustments, but I would also do it again. just bring our own food. Yeah, or just snacks. Yeah, yeah. just definitely. I mean, the know. popcorn I feel like was fine. the popcorn was definitely fine. Yeah, bring bring your own snacks. Know what your setup's going to be ahead yeah. of time, and have fun. I would also I think I would pick a different night than a Sunday night, and maybe just because like. I think if it was a night that I cared less about staying out later, I'd be like, I eh, might as well just see the second movie. I see. And then it'd be like more of an experience. So if you have a real job like Joy, <laughs> if you have like an actual career and you know, something something to be proud of at the, the family TCs. dinner table. Oh no. <laughs> I am not proud something of Something you TCs. can tell the aunties and uncles. Don't have that. Um, Me neither. Yeah, I would just probably do it a different night. Also, it's like, it's an hour away from down sure. from the city so you know you drove an hour to watch an hour and a half movie and then driving an hour back anyway guys that oh it is the brake hold oh. all right well we got to get out of here our lights, <laughs> our lights are, on. are on we need to run <laughs> they will crucify us there's a security guy coming up to us right now these people next to us have like string lights in their car they were ready yeah anyway oh, guys lights are on Okay. That was our night. Yeah, maybe we'll do something Catch else you on this the week. flip. Is that it for this week? Mm, we'll see. Okay. Catch you on the flip, folks. See you guys. Bye.